Hi! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to Vitamin Amber. If you are returning, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. I really appreciate all of your comments, questions, likes, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Um, so, because I have really missed you guys, I thought I'd come back with a really fun video of us using our sorbet strainer. So, no juice today. Sorry guys, I know you're so sad. But, instead we're gonna make a little nice dessert with the sorbet strainer. So this is the sorbet strainer. I like have never used it. As you can see, the sticker is still stuck on there and I'm not about to take it off because it's not even gonna touch anything. It doesn't matter. Anyways, so this is the cool little sorbet strainer. It is, for those who have namas, as you know, it is a little different than our regular strainer for the juicer or for like smoothies um, because we're not extracting anything when we do sorbet. Instead, we're just kind of crushing down the fruits into like a nice little sorbet, right? Yeah. And then as far as ingredients, so we're just gonna keep it simple um, and we're gonna do like a nice little strawberry banana sorbet and um, there's optional froyo, optional frozen yogurt. It's vanilla if you want to add like a little bit of sweetness to it outside of the bananas. And then we're also going to just drizzle a little bit of honey on top at the end. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. It's so exciting because this is my first time using it. And you can always find the benefits of each fruits and vegetables that I use in all my videos in those descriptions as well. So. With that being said, let's get it juicing. Even though we're not juicing, it's okay. It's my thing and I can say it if I want. Thank you. All right, so everything's all set up. I got my little bowl here. Um, we're gonna see how this comes out. Okay guys, so to start out, we're going to add a couple bananas and then we're gonna alternate and add a couple strawberries and just go back and forth just so it can mix together while it is going through the chute. This way, we don't have to stir it as much in the end and we can keep that sorbet texture. Okay guys, so here is our finished product. This beautiful little pink masterpiece here. I kind of mixed it up a little bit before I separated it, but I also wanted to keep like the sorbet kind of texture so I didn't do too much stirring. But honestly, it's like really cute and I'm like kind of excited. You can definitely tell like the banana is a little more creamier than the strawberry for sure, which makes sense though. So no surprise there, uh, but it smells really good. And really quick too, the optional uh, Froyo, I just kind of threw that in for like a little bit of sweetness. Um, I probably won't add any honey to this one in particular, but you can also add some honey too if you don't want to do the Froyo. Um, or you can freeze like just plain yogurt to kind of give it a little more creamy texture. But honestly, the banana itself is a lot, like the banana itself is creamy, so you might not even need that extra like creamy texture. Okay, but I'm gonna taste it and then I'm gonna let you guys go and try it. Can you get out, sir? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's over, I'm done with this YouTube stuff. I am about to open up a fro wait this isn't even a sorbet shop because this is amazing and all it is is freaking bananas and strawberries it is so good it's just like the perfect amount of sweetness and the perfect amount of like sour it's so good definitely for my people who don't have namas you can definitely make this in a blender please do not fret you can make this in a blender as if like you're making a smoothie. You just don't add any liquid base to it. Like you won't add your milk or like water or ice cubes. You won't add any liquid. You just literally just put some frozen fruit in a blender and a little bit of yogurt. Like you know how people make those little smoothie bowls? Like that's exactly pretty much what this is, just with fruit. So definitely try it. It's really good. A nice probably low in sugar alternative to a beautiful dessert. 
and it's probably really good in the summer on a hot day okay i'm done all right but thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys you're awesome please like subscribe comment all that good stuff and have a good night day evening whatever it is